All right. We're, we're, we're starting off the stream. Thanks for thanks for watching. You can support me by buying merch on my online store, supporting me monthly on my Patreon page, Anime Tire Tunes. Send me gifts via Throne. There should be there should be links in there should be links somewhere where you can do all that. You know, I also can send me money through PayPal. The Incredible Hulk issue six. Even your women's streams can't save you from me, Hulk. All the all the mental power on, on Earth is mine to command, for I am the mental master. If Hulk can't handle the mental master, it could mean the end of the human race. A full-length epic super thriller. The Incredible Hulk versus the mental master. What happens when a living being whose incredible might is almost beyond measure meets a menace from... Another world, a menace whose power can't be halted by mere brute strength. Story Stanley, Art Steve Ditko, Lettering Art Smirk. At a military miss at, at a military missile base somewhere in the Great Southwest, the countdown is halted while the ba base command commander waits for Doctor Bruce Banner to appear. Launch minus fifteen minutes and holding. We can't start without Banner. He's the brains behind this entire space pro probe. Where is where is he? Thunder. Thunder Nation. Where is he in Thunder Nation? Is he? General Thunderbolt Ross, never a man to mince words, expresses his feelings in an uncertain terms. Lucky for me, he's a civilian. If he if he were in my division, I'd have him. I have had his hide. I'd stop him before behind bars. I'd, I'd, oh, Dad, what if something happened to Bruce? Strange, he's had he had plenty of time to change back to from the Hulk and reach here before by now. The Hulk has been seen in this area. What if he got Bruce? If only I could tell her that Bruce Banner is the Hulk, but I wouldn't dare. He he'd skin me alive. At that at that moment, not far away, the object of everyone's concern, crutches. Oh, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. I gotta change back to Bruce Banner, but I can't. A whole blasted infirmary bit regiment on a m maneuvers between me and my underground lab. I can't reach the cave without them seeing me and discovering my secret hiding place. But I can't stay here any longer. If I don't change back to Banner soon, it may be too late. Oh yeah, so just so you know, I'm actually going to be streaming um, on Halloween Day, on the 31st Halloween Day, I'm going to be doing a special Halloween live stream. So instead of one hour, it's going to be two hours. So that one's going to be ooh, a big boy. I'm not sure if I'm up for it. But I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking about doing it every hall, every Halloween, doing a special like um, stream where I read comic books, ha Halloween style comic books, like once a year. I'm thinking about making it two hours. I'm not sure yet, but I, I can't stay here any longer. If I don't change back to Banner soon, it may be too late. The longer I remain the Hulk, the harder it is to change back. I gotta take a chance. Maybe I can lead toward that hidden cave fast enough and long, long enough maybe and make it before the radar spots me. Blast it. It's no good. Too many jets. I almost crashed into them. They're coming this way. I can't stay here. But there's no hi place to hide. They gotta stay stay back. Why don't they keep away? I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone. But if I if they come any closer, if they attack me, it'll be too bad. Um, but at the crucial split second, just before the troops confront the, this this desperate Hulk, intersplitting wine fills the desert air. It me it means back to the base on double. It's emergency alert. We condition red. 
Within minutes, the last dull rumble of tanks fades into the distance, and a bewildered Hulk safely enters the dank cave, which leads to his hidden lair. Lucky for them, the alarm sounded. Now I won't have to bash any heads today together. Minutes later, a giant fo form stands in front of one of the Earth's most awesome ray machines. I hate having to become that weakling banner all the time. Ah. Uh, gas. Each time I, I change the change, it takes. It seems more painful. What happened? I'm Bruce. I'm Bruce Banner again, but I'm stronger, more powerful. Must have manipulated the controls differently, but it didn't last. Strength is fading, growing weak again. Must rest. Each change leaves me weaker every time. How much longer can I endure it? Slumbering in front of his electronic TV viewer, the English scientist switches the set and... Something's wrong. At the base, General Ross, Betty, they look terrified. Oh, no. It's, it's impossible. The space probe rocket, my project, it, it melted. It's disintegrating in front of my eyes. Bewildered, and the, the trembling viewer switches on the sound portion of his amazing set and hears, Who's that? Where, where did he come from? I am the Metal Master. I come from the planet Astra, many galaxies away. I melted the opinion rocket device through the power of my brain to show you how invincible I am. I am the master of all forms of metal of metal for all metal is made of, of up of atoms and with the power of my brain I can command the control set and every metallic atom I can cause them to move to be still to fly apart or, or uh, heave together on the planet Astra our sculptors make magnificent statues of metal forming them shaping them to make their mental commands alone. But of all of this Astrans, only I judged a criminal. Only I was sentenced to external exile. For I wanted to use my great power to order all to conquer all. For a time beyond measure, I have roamed the galaxy seeking a planet which was rich in resources, rich in mental. A planet which I could rule. And now I have found that such a world, Earth, shall be mine. Someone grab him. He's a, he's a, he's nutty, as a fruit cake. So I see that further demonstration is needed. Very well. Behold. Hey, my helmet's falling off my head. Mine's melting, but it's impossible. And now, if you find it difficult to believe that I am the one who destroyed your rocket device, see what I shall do to that tank. It's bewildering your way into gas. Nothing. He, he didn't even touch it, but the, that ray com coming from his head. If it we're dreaming, he's, he's the single most powerful force on Earth. But wait, you haven't seen that scene, but a small sample of my talent. The melting metal is turning into long bands of steel, moving the, like living things. They're encircling us, trapping us inside. And now, here my ultimatum. For I begin to tire of these childish feats. You will surrender this entire base to me immediately. And the planet Earth itself must accept me as, as supreme ruler within 24 hours. Now I shall leave you for a few minutes while you discuss my terms and realize how helpless you are before me. If that big clown thinks he'll get away with this, I'll alert the missile hunter squadron before he gets 50 yards away. Look, he's turned that piece of steel platform into a mental flying carpet. Bah, those power tricks don't impress Thunderbolt Ross. There. Go, my hunter rockets, they'll bring him down no matter what powers he claims that to, he has. And still, they do not believe. Disintegrate. I'll redirect the remaining rocket to return to the base. Take cover! 
the rocket backtracked in midair. That guy really is unbeatable. There's a chance, just one, some chance, that there is someone who can stop the mental master. If I can just get it, get to the Hulk in time. Breathless from his heart pounding run, Rick reaches the lair of the Hulk to find. Stay back. I know all about it. I saw it on the screen. I'm changing. There. Now the Hulk will have what? What are you, are you staring at, brat? Your face. Your body. Your, your body is is the Hulk's, but your face. Something went wrong. I've got Banner's milk soap face. You you can't go out like that. It would give your identity away. Stop whining. I know what to do. Manor made a lot of plaster casts of molds of the of his face and mine in order to st study them. I'll just put one uh, one on the how now like this. But well, what about the machine? Why didn't it change your face? Who who cares about that? That's for the bookworm banner to worry about. I've got something more important to handle. Now get out of, out of back out of my way. I can't fly like a blasted human torch. Now these muscles in the, my legs ain't just for show. All I gotta do is spring up and just keep going. Remember the remembering the direction of the mental master had flown off in. The Hulk soars through the air until he sees. Figured you'd be somewhere around in the metal scrap pile. What? Don't look so unsurprised, Peanut. Everyone on Earth is a puny weakling. Your brute strength does not impress me. Not when I all the metal in the universe is mine to command. There, I shall overwhelm you with an avalanche of heavy pomering iron and steel objects until you whimper helplessly for mercy. Mr. The Hulk ain't the wisp whimpering type, whimpering in kind. You are more powerful than I thought, so I, so I shall fuse a ton of metal together and form an unbreakable cage to drop over you. You're got a you're you're out of your mind. Nothing breakable, unbreakable to the Hulk. For long minutes until uh, of uncanny battle, the con 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 battle continues as the metal master keeps the rampaging Hulk at bay with a barrage of heavy flying objects, wearing down the might his mighty foe slowly but surely. Until wait, th it, this is folly. Why do we battle each other? This way, when we might as be allies, any mental power in your brute would be the most irresistible force in the galaxy. Huh, team up with you? You're nuts. Hey, why not? I don't owe nothing to the human race, Steve. They've been hunting me and hunting me, treating me like an animal. This would be a be my chance to pay them all back. We couldn't now nah, forget it. I ain't buying it. The Hulk needs nobody. I can do what I ought to do without you. I'm the Hulk. Do you hear, hear the Hulk? But as the split second while while his foes guarded guard is down, the mental master strikes again swiftly, surely, and so be it then. Ugh. He was right. We do not need each other. For I am the, the stronger. I have vanquished him. Now on all of Earth, there are none who can defy me. I am supreme. Minutes, minutes later, a determined of recon troops swim across the stunned form of the Hulk. Looks like we're on the right track. The middle master must have been in the vicinity. Not only he could have beaten the Hulk. Hey, what gives? He's some kind of kind of mask on. At that moment, the Hulk begins to regain consciousness. See, so, let's see what's underneath this thing. What? No, no. Not to, not to move fast while he's still 
week and days. Why would the Hulk wear a mask? <laughs> Has he another identity? If they find out who I really am, this is the end for me. Then the mask is removed. This is crazy. He's got the same face underneath. Better take him to HQ. This is too much for us. And so the word from Recon, the Unit C, Sir, they caught the Hulk. Great. One, once we get him out of the way, we can concentrate on that blasted mental master. And so no word about Bruce Banner. What could have happened to him? Easy, men. General Ross has has had this special stone <clears throat> building prepared for the Hulk for months. We don't want to muff it up it now. Good thing the Hulk is still dazed. He's still, if he'll st only stay that way for another few minutes. That's it. We've got him. He'll never escape again. This is the end of the Hulk. But there's one person who is not happy about the capture of the Earth's mightiest creature. General, you're making a mistake. The Hulk's the only one who can might, who might be able to stop the mental master. You gotta let him talk to him. I mean, you gotta let me talk to him. Talk all you want, son, but he's staying where he is. Nervously, the teenager approaches the Hulk's escape-proof cell. It's me, Rick. Are you okay? You, the one who betrayed me? Only well, you knew about my mask. You gotta tell them. You must have told them. But you didn't know that Ray would wear off and my real face would return, did you? I can't trust in you any no more. Can't trust nobody. If I ever get my hands on you, you run squealer. No, Hulk. No, I didn't. I didn't tell. You're lying to me, but you'll never fool me again. I'll, show, I'll get out of here somehow. And when I do, when I, when I do, I when I break out of here, I'll have my revenge on everybody. Do you hear me? On everybody. And I will get out of here. I will, no matter how long it takes, I'll get out. And so we take our leave of the most incredible creature on Earth for a short time as he pounds his unbelievable powerful fist against the silent stone wall, a wall which slowly, even so, he begins to crumble. I'll get out. But what of Rick Jones? Hurt, bewildered, he turns to Number Ross. General, where do do I go to list in the army? Nowhere. Yet, son, you're only sixteen. You're too young. But I'm tired of being just a nothing. I want to be where the action is. I know how you feel, my boy. But if you really want to serve your country, the best thing to do is stay in school. America needs trained men in every field, even in, even in the army. And then, when you're old enough. Cool, General. I get the message. And so the inexorable fate draws her little curt web closer and closer. For at that moment, the mental master destroys oil wells in the heat of the near fat near east. Behold, it is the mental master. And then speed on 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 to topple construction in Africa effect. Nothing shipping in the Med Mediterranean and uproot. Bridges in the heart of the Europe. Only the Mr. Master could, could do all this. And before long, the entire Earth has been has seen awesome negotiations of the seamlessly endless power of the menace from an, another galaxy. Not a human breath breaths on Earth who does not tremble at the name, the Mental Master. And at this moment, we'd return to disheartened Rick Jones. Heck, the whole world is in trouble, and there's nothing I can a cat my age can do about it. Why not take general general's advice, Rick, and just stick to your education? That's what the rest of us are doing. Sure, it's okay for him. So talk you. He was never the Hulk's partner. How can I go back to begin being an ordinary kid after something like that? Look, here's Rick Jones. Hey, Ricko, come here. We've got something to something to sh show you. What do you see what the gang's been doing, yo flip, son? Sorry, Daddy, yo, I ain't in a flippin' mood. Come on, Sarpus. What have we yeah, got to lose? 
And so Rick Rick accomplishes his friends accompanies his friends and finds we all chipped in to buy this ham radio. Isn't it cool? We can talk to other hams all over the country. Hey, wanna, what do you know? That's it. The idea I've been looking for. It's perfect. They can't stop us on, on account of our age. And we can help the army, the police, everybody. What do you mean, Rick? With a bunch of, of, of cats like us all over the country, keeping in touch with my radio, by radio, we can have the greatest super set in the world. We'll have we'll form a club. We'll call it something like the Teen the Teen Brigade, and be ready to help out wherever we're needed. Hey, the Teen Brigade! It sounds neat. Neat. I'll buy it. And so the Teen Brigade is born, a band of loyal teenagers who of whom we will shortly hear more. But now back to the Hulk. Minutes after minutes, hours after hours, his mighty seamlessly tiresome fist pounded against the stone wall, chipping it away bit by bit until at last I am free and not far away. Strange, we still haven't managed to locate Bruce Banner. Oh, Dad, if anything happened to Bruce, I, I sob. I never realized he meant so much to me. Suddenly, General, the rock... I mean, General, the Hulk, he's escaped. What, you mean he broke out of those thick concrete walls? It can't be. It can't. First, that blasted mental master and banner it is missing. Now the Hulk is free again. Of all the blank in it, blank, blankety blank. Oh, Dad, what if the Hulk has captured, somehow captured Bruce? But what would... Betsy Ross say if she could see the Hulk at this moment, back in the hidden lair, as his massive body has is bathed by Bruce Banner's awesome ray, it it's over. The ray worked all right this time, but I've been using it too much too often. I'm too weak. Can't hardly stand everything spinning around. Can't can't back out now. Must hold on. Must stay awake. Got to beat the mental master. Earth is in danger. Can't can't give up. Not that very moment. So he doesn't want me around anymore. So he doesn't need me. Okay. So who cares? I I'll get my duds together and clean clean clear out once and for all. Rick Rick, help me. So I seen the man who had had once saved his life. Seeing how helpless he is, the teen, teenager. Forgets his anger and his hurt, and golly, doctor, in real bad shape. What happened? My gamma ray used it too often. Weak. Can't stand. Can't overdose on gamma rays. Can't take it. You're all Rick. Well, Rick, always here when I need you. What a fool I was. I should have known that Bruce Banner isn't always responsible for what he, what the whole says or does. Doc, I've I've got to get to you to the hospital. Oh no, no, no time! I've got out of a way to beat the middle back middle master, but need help. Can't do it alone. Well, well, gee, what can? Wait, wait a sec. I know. You just tell me what you need, Doc, and my team brigade will do that. Go, go into action, team brigade. Short time later, after being sure that Bruce Banner is resting comfortably, here's the pitch, gang. We've all heard of Rocker Bruce Banner. Well. He's got an angle on how to beat the mental master, but it's up to us to get him the equipment he needs. Now, here's what we need, we want. So eagerly, enthusiastically, with all the energy of typical American teenagers, the newly formed teen brigade races into action. What are we waiting for? Last one back is a rotten egg. Gangway. North. South, east, and west, into every corner of the United States, the team brigade radio, radio their messages. The parts are and supplies part of pouring in from all over in the desperate struggle to keep stop the mental master. Thus, reach Pittsburgh. Our con 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 condescenders are on their way. Here's the tubes and circuits Rick asked for from Seattle. Blueprints on the way over and out. 
once more alone in an unsuspected asylum. Slender figure stands in front of the Gamma Ray machine. Can't afford to rest any longer. It's it's now or never. It's working. Ah, I can feel the power surging through my body. I am strong again. I am the Hulk again. And so our grippling tail gathers momentum as it races towards its inevitable climax, for the Mental Master is still at large, and Nerf has still found no way to cope, cope with his dire menace. We, we've tried every weapon, every scheme. Nothing can stop the mental master. The people are growing panicky. Something must be done soon, but what? And as those in authority pounder pounder the problem hopelessly, the mental master continues to make a mockery of our power, our defenses. How easy it is for me to hopelessly snarl their transformation by twisting the mental tricks of their railroad. No nation fails to feel the mental master sting. Attention, com comrades. Launch missiles. The mental master must be destroyed. So they launch in the missiles. More missiles. Will, will the helpless fools never learn? How frustrated they must be if they are watching this on their telescope viewers. At a mere mental command from me, from me, each missile separates and passes harmlessly around me. That roar behind me. Ah, so now they send man aircraft to battle me. But all I need to do is strike, strike through each one and melt it as I touch it. Uh oh. By merely melting the engine section of each plane, I permit the helpless pilots to bail out and float to safety. It is not that I am merciful, but I shall want every earthling alive so that there will be so many to serve me, and now I shall simply lose myself in a bank of clouds where I grow weary of this conflict. It is like battling children. Next time I appear, I shall be through toying with these puny humans. When next they see me, I shall have come to possession of all mankind. But in an old warehouse in the southwest place of those puny humans are plotting and planning and working to defeat the inspecting alien. We brought all the equipment Rick asked for. He's, look, he's locked inside now. What do you suppose he's doing with it? And where's the doctor, Dr. Banner? Nirvana 2 is inside, but not in the form of which the Teen Team Brigade might expect. It's a good thing you remembered most of Bruce Banner's scientific knowledge, Hulk. Shut up and let me think, brat. There, the machine is finished. Now open the door and get out of my way. You, you bet, Hulk. Trying to find that flying creep. Oh, look, it, it's, it's the Hulk. How did he get in there? What was what's what was he carrying? It looks like some sort of gun. If he's looking for the mental master, he he's wasting his time. That gun won't do any good. Minutes later, a team brigade looks look look out sees it's him. It's the mental master heading north, due now northwest north northwest. Within seconds, the message is delayed to the team brigade radio post throughout the area. Roger, I'll get that scope to Rick Jones on a double over and out. And finally, Hulk, the mental master, has been sighted approaching Washington, D.C. It's about time. Now stand back, Brad. I gotta get. Guy got me a little traveling to do. The mental master must be pretty on that. And I'm taking over the government now. But the Hulk's got a few other plans for, for him. And on the ground below. Carloads of excited teenagers commit coverage on the nation's capital. Come on, we don't want to miss any of this. But what happened to Bruce Banner, Rick? He must have built that gun for the Hulk. Now we'll see some action. There he is. All right, Flyboy coming coming down to the earth before I blast you down with this gizmo. This is the Hulk talking. The Hulk, good. Now I shall destroy you once and for all. 
with your own weapon. No matter how powerful that gun is, the, men the mental of which is made of a subject to every command. And so p farewell, Hulk, for I shall now explode right in your arms. You failed. You can't control this Hulk hunk of metal. See it. See nothing happen to it. And there's no, not gonna. There's nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. That's impossible. There is no type of metal I can't control. I'll get closer to it. That's what I want to want. Come real close. Now. Nothing's nothing happening. But it can't be. It can't. I'm using all the mental power at my command. It has to explode. I command it to. I'll get closer still. The mental energy is I am generating is enough to move an entire city. It must be must explode. I knew it. You, I knew it. You ain't all you're cracked up to be. You're a phony, a weak brainless, ugly phony. Do you hear me? I say you're just a big zero. You must explode, explode, explode. Meanwhile, unaware of what is taking place, General Ross still paces angry in his room. We've got to find Banner. He's the most brilliant, brilliant weapons expert in the country. He's got to come up with something, something to beat the mental master. I've called every hospital, even saw the morgue. General, a report just came in. Headquarters, the Hulk and the Mental Master are face to face on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. Don't just stand there, man. I have my jet prepared for flight. I've got to reach the scene. Got to reach, take charge. They're probably trying to decide which of them will take over this nation. Dad, be careful. After a, a record breaking cross country jet flight, Thunderbolt Ross takes command of the assembled missile strike force and all units events this is the showdown you know for the long silent minutes the middle master has hovered over the hulk unbe unable to believe that he has failed at, at last until all right i'll let you stay there i remember and tremble long enough now it's my turn hey no, no one's chance at I'll strike with, with the still plate I've been standing on. At last, I can still control that. Gotcha. You didn't think that a little piece of, of tin could hurt me, did you? That fist. That arm. Don't strike me. I'll, I'll do anything, anything, but don't hit me. Alright, coward. I give you yeah, a chance. Make everything the way it was before you yeah, messed up. All the mental of Earth, I mean now. Tremble in the mental master concentrates as he summons all of his vast, uh, awesome mental power, sending boundless waves of pure thought to every part of the planet, and no tricks or else. Impelled by uncomfortable fear of the Incredible Hulk, the alien mental master does as he as he is ordered. Within minutes, all of the damage that has been done is redirectified in the most dazzling display of mental power was even seen on Earth. And then before anyone anyone can make a move, the Hulk releases the the beaten alien and so watches as the mental master walk it walk its away from Earth, never again to return. He's gone. We've licked him. Earth is safe. You didn't, Hulk. You beat the mental master, but how? Uh, what kind of mental was was that? Anybody could have made it, except most of you, you dumb humans always lose your heads when something happens. It wasn't any kind of metal at all, just plastic and cardboard. I painted the look like metal. It was a bluff that paid off. Ah, huh, look, the whole thing's a phony. It's all hollow. But the middle master never suspected. I guess you kids deserve most of the credit if you hadn't rounded up all that junk I needed to make that gun. It would have been too late. Let's measure how can put complimenting us. Yowie! Hold on, we've got company work coming. The army's moving in. 
There he is. Up ahead. Steady now, men. Proceed with caution. Hang on, Brett. We're heading home. I got no time for any explaining now. Roger Ross can issue an order. The Teen Brigade tells him what has taken place. That's how it happened, sir. The Hulk beat the Mental Master. He saved the whole Earth. Well, I'll be. So many, many miles and many hours later. Well, well, here goes nothing again. What, what happened? It, I didn't change. I'm still the Hulk. What did I do wrong? Everything's set right. Everything ha connected. Banner always felt that the blasted machine should have been shouldn't be used too much. The gamma rays are too strong, too hard to control. I always hated Banner's weak body. Always wished I could stay as the Hulk, but now I'll be I'll be the Hulk forever. To always be hunted, feared. While unaware of Bruce Banner's and the Hulk's plight, plight Betty Ross continues her seemingly hopeless quest. Yeah, lady, Doc Banner used to buy the, his paper here, but I haven't seen him in weeks. Look, there's Betty, Betty Ross, the general, general's, general's daughter. Yeah, she's been asking around for Doc Banner for days. Maybe we'd better tell Rick. Then at the Team Brigade's radio post, can you reach Rick? Charlie got a message for him. Was just going to call him myself. Got some big news from Washington. You know, secret, secret lair. Am I going to have to stay hidden in this cave all my life? All great news. You've gotten a pardon because of you defeated the Mental Master. A pardon? Is that the best they can do? I say the whole blasted planet and all they can do is pardon me? Those wrong, ungrateful humans. What good is a pardon going to do me now? It's too late. Everything's everything's too late. Hulk, don't take it easy. Hulk, take it easy. Ha! He says take it easy. I'll show you. I'll take it easy. I'll show the whole crummy world. Oh, uh, what? I'm normal yet. I'm Bruce Banner. The raid didn't did work. It just had a delayed reaction. Rick, I hope I never have to go through that again. You don't know what it's like, the pain, the anguish. Sure, Doc, sure, I can imagine. That's what makes you so edgy. Later, after Bruce Banner has divested a while. By the way, Doc, I meant to tell you, Betty Ross has been looking for you. She's been real worried about you, been looking for so long. Poor kid, I'll go, I'll go see her right away. So but at so at Betty's house, so they partnered the Hulk of all his uh, one kid decision. All the one kid decision. They can't can't they see he's tricked them? He's trying to throw his, off us off his off guard. He's as dangerous as ever. Durba, Durba, who? Where in the boys have you been? We've turned this state state upside down. We're searching for you. Sorry, General. I uh, was under water, under the water, so I took a few days of rest in Bermuda. Bermuda? Where in the whole world? Tartar's on a drink, on a brink. He's resting in Bermuda. No, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. Yo, oh, Benny. I'm sorry. I worried you, dear. I'm sorry. I worried you, dear. Bah. How how did our mind could have ever fall for us? Such a spineless smoke sop. Sometimes, sometimes I think she'd be better off mo mooning over the Hulk. At least he's got a backbone. <laughs> they both got backbone because they're the same person. Bruce, I know there was more to your absence than the fact that you didn't feel well. I have the strange feeling that there's someone, some connection between you and the Hulk. Why don't you confide it in me? I don't mean enough to you. Mean enough. Can't you can't you any more, Betty? I can't tell you any more because you mean too much to me. As for the Hulk, he's, let's hope that he he is gone now forever. But alas, the hope of Bruce Banner is not in the real Roa's eyes. The Hulk is destroyed to live again, but that's another tale. Gamer machine it grows more unpredictable each time he he used it. If Doc has a face it again, 
what will happen next time. All right. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to be reading a different comic book instead of um, well, the Hulk. Because I read the first six issues, and I don't know why, but Marvel Unlimited only has issues one through six. And then it starts with 102, so I'm going to take a break from Hulk reading. And I'm going to read a different comic book series. Which I'm thinking, I'm thinking about reading um, some comic books from um, DC Universe. I'm thinking about reading Scooby-Doo. From the ni the from, from nineteen ninety seven, they don't they don't have the entire series, but they have like issues, some some of the issues, but not all of them. So now I'm gonna read *The Emperor and I* chapter twenty. Chapter twenty, older brother and emperor, click, click. So this is where you're com finally coming home. Almost hit my head. Oh, Rio, welcome home. Welcome back, yeah. The Emperor, Emperor and I, Chapter 20. That's the Zatan from Bewikwu. Yep, I thought if it, I bought it after you got me, got me into it. I also got a Rebuntan tea. Can't believe you don't make those in men. I can't believe they don't make those in men's sizes. I know, right? I was college. Hmm. It's okay. Cling. Thump. Pig. There's a huge eggplant, eggplant, eggplant thing in my room. An eggplant? That's not the reaction I was hoping for. Oh, that's Emperor Penguin. We're he, we're living with an Emperor Penguin. Explain. Well, Emperor was was just in the fridge one day. I was shocked at first, too. But now he's part of the family. This is the surprise. <laughs> I don't get this at all. The fridge, yeah, right. I'm telling the truth, though. I don't have it, have any photos to prove it. I know it's hard to believe, but the fact that Emperor is is here and not in in Antarctica is proof enough. You're playing you're playing it off like some weird thing that happened. Surprise! No, no, no. Stare. Aria, welcome home. Hey, surprised, right? I'm beyond surprised, and now just in shock. What do you two think about this weird thing? Showing up in, out of the blue. What do I think? Well, Keho said she'd take care of him for the, for the most part. Though, we take turns feeding him. We're not taking, talking about a dog or a cat here. So, you're narrowly, narrow man minded. I even got used to it right away. What? Why did everyone just accept this bird that came out of nowhere? Are you trying to tell me? That I'm the weird one here. Okay, this is everything. I'm having rolled, rolled sushi today. Yay. Let's eat. <laughs> this is really funny. So, like, the brother is, like, he's, like, trying to eat, but this, like, penguin is, like, poking at him. Hey, why is it getting so close? Scary. Better hurry or he'll take it from you. Let me eat in peace. I I can't wrap my head around this. I'm beat. Roll. What's with, with that? It's heater? Sorry to, to bring this on you suddenly, Rayo. It's sure it's confusing. I hope you can get used to Emperor's little little by little. I I'm not a bad bad penguin. Fuji false. Huta. Pat. Huh? It's surprisingly hard. That, that, I thought it'd be squishy. Well, I'll get used to it, to it eventually. Good, because he's taken a liking to this room lately. For real? I gotta clean up kosher monsters have dust on. Huh? Someone gone. 
Where is alien alien Tomagon? Tomagon. Tomagon's wrapped in belly fat. Emperor Pingos are sticking sticking around things under their belly. What kind of habit is that? Just give it back. Oh, looks like he's already claimed it as his own. No, no, no. We'll get Matt. He'll get mad if you take it. Take it. He'll tear. He'll tear the social screens. No, no, no. That's my not not giving it up. Emperor's got a new favorite toy and a new roommate too. All right. So next, I'm reading the Emperor and I, chapter twenty point five. So this is actually pretty much the end of the stream. Emperor and legs. What, what again, what, what again, Emperor? I don't know if he's b bored or what, but Emperor learn where it means on my legs every now and then, slump. And he's, it's usually when I least want him to. I'm cooking right now, so, hey, it's a little annoying. Days later. Not this time, you don't. Uh... Swamp. So I I ended up letting him lean on me. You're kind of, you're kind of heavy. And that is the end of our stream. Woohoo! Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to support me by buying merch on my online store, supporting me on my Patreon page and my tunes. Support me on uh, by donating directly to my PayPal account. Send me gifts via Throne, the Throne website. So that should be. It on the linked on here somewhere, and um, let's see. Also, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel called Gamer Tyler. I upload original animated videos, which I'm working on working on a new animated video this week. Let's see. Um, you can I also upload um, various videos. From like review, food reviews to just everything. So I hope you will check that out. Thanks. Bye.